Happy New Year to everyone around the world. I hope you have had an absolutely fantastic time celebrating with friends, family, whoever it may be. And we are looking forward to a new year with GTA 6 news on the way, 2024. And with that, we can officially finally say that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be releasing next year in 2025. In today's video, what I wanted to discuss actually is in relation to what we should be expecting from Rockstar Games regarding Grand Theft Auto 6 news this year in 2024 in relation to the second trailer for GTA 6 screenshots pre-orders and all of that we are going to be getting into that and so much more but before we get straight into this video today if you're new here please do consider subscribing as 87.8 percent of my viewers are currently not subscribed to the channel you don't want to miss any of the latest and upcoming gta 6 news rumors and leaks so please do make sure to hit that subscribe button all right guys so getting straight into it today what we should be expecting from rockstar games in 2024 in relation to gta 6 news now if we had to actually go back in time turn on that delorean turn on that flux capacitor and really Really, really go back in time to actually see what we should be expecting in relation to Rockstar Games regarding GTA 6. And that is actually starting out with the last GTA they have released, which is obviously the current one we have at the moment, GTA 5. Now, going back to the launch timeline of GTA 5, we know that Rockstar Games formally revealed GTA 5 and its logo on October 25th, 2011. And this was actually coming with a surprise announcement on Twitter or what we know now as X. And with this announcement, we actually received the date for the first trailer for GTA 5, which was set to release a week later on November 2nd. And then once November 2nd came, we got our first official look at GTA 5 showcasing Los Santos and the countryside. And of course, those infamous words from Ned Luke, AKA Michael DeSanta, with him saying those infamous words, why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Now, putting things into context for you guys, we're pretty much at the exact same point at the moment with GTA 6 and of course its first official trailer that just came out only about three weeks ago, closing in on a month. Now, going back to GTA 5, as we know, at the moment within this timeline, GTA 5, its first trailer on November 2nd, 2011, and it wasn't till a very, very long time later, next year in 2012, that we actually got more information regarding GTA 5. And that was a whole seven months later on July 12th of that year, where Rockstar Games released their first two official GTA 5 screenshots, which was in a Q&A session on their Newswire. And then in the month of August, we actually received some more screenshots from Rockstar Games regarding GTA 5 at the time and then a few months later on October 30th of that year we actually got a more narrow timeline of GTA 5's release timeline which was formally to be announced as spring of 2013 that GTA 5 was going to be released in and then on November 5th of that year in 2012 Rockstar Games came out with the news wire saying that Grand Theft Auto 5 now officially available for pre-order and in addition to this on the exact same day Rockstar announced that the second trailer will be released a week and a bit later on November 14th of that year. Now, before I continue to move on, I promise you guys, I'll make sure to tie this back to GTA 6 and how this relates, but you're probably sort of understanding what I'm sort of getting at here in relation to the launch timeline of GTA 5 and how this relates to GTA 6 based off Rockstar's historical patterns. Then three days later on November 8th of 2012, Game Informer released the first preview of GTA 5 where a lot of information is spilled, including what makes GTA 5 so special including additional screenshots as well. And then on November 14th, that's when we got our next look at GTA 5 with trailer number two. And of course, there was an artwork that was released as well, featuring the three main protagonists at the time, Franklin, Michael, and Trevor. And then a couple weeks after trailer number two went live, Rockstar Games released an artwork showcasing Trevor. And then to end off the year on Christmas Eve, they published five more new screenshots showcasing our three main protagonists and some more images showcasing what GTA 5 has to offer. Now going back to GTA 6 and tying this all up into a nice little bow. And this is pretty much what we should be expecting from Rockstar Games and seeing this year in 2024 regarding Grand Theft Auto 6, summarizing the main points of what GTA 5's launch timeline look like. Obviously, the main things we saw from that specifically is currently at the moment, like I was saying earlier in the video, we're three weeks after the GTA 6 trailer, and we obviously don't have any more information regarding GTA 6 at the moment. Based off this GTA 5 timeline, what we should be expecting currently at the moment is most likely complete silence on Rockstar's end for a pretty long period of time, 
and then we should be seeing something occurring within that middle part of the year regarding GTA 6, whether it be like in GTA 5's case, our first official screenshots of GTA 6 showcasing Vice City and its surrounding areas. And then after that, a more narrow timeline of GTA 6, so probably seeing something along the lines of, well, what we know at the moment, Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two, has set financial projections for fiscal 25, which runs from March 2024 to April of 2025, where they're set to earn around $8 billion in net bookings, which does indicate that GTA 6 is going to be released within that time frame. And based off this, Rockstar may come out once again, similar to GTA 5, by saying spring 2025 is the release window for GTA 6. And then perhaps closer towards the end of the year, that's when we should be getting official word from Rockstar Games that pre-orders will be going live, and then we can actually start pre-ordering GTA 6. And then closing in on the end of 2024, that's when we'll most likely receive a second look at GTA 6 properly with trailer number two. And hopefully we're going to be seeing a bit more of a closer look at our second main protagonist referred to as what we know anyways in the leaks, but hasn't been formally announced as Jason. Obviously in the first trailer, we did see more of Lucia. And some other things occurring throughout the year, we'll probably get perhaps maybe a preview look at GTA 6, similar to Game Informer giving us a preview look at GTA GTA 5. Probably get some more screenshots as well, but that's pretty much the rough gist of what we should be expecting from Rockstar Games and in terms of GTA 6 news throughout the year. I think a lot of people expecting gameplay for GTA 6 I think are going to be sorely mistaken. I don't think we're going to be getting that this year. I think that will most likely be coming next year in 2025 when Rockstar Games want to showcase something a little bit more polished in relation to GTA 6. Obviously something far beyond from what we saw in September of 2022 with the GTA 6 leaks. At the end of the day, we don't really know what approach Rockstar Games are going to be going with this time with GTA 6. Obviously, they can change it up one way or another. This is just purely based off what they have done in the past, for example, with GTA 5, like I have done in this video. I'd love to say that we're going to be getting some more information regarding Rockstar Games and GTA 6 news throughout the year, more specifically gameplay and perhaps maybe a little bit more of a closer look in regards to when the exact release date would be. But I think it's just going to be a little bit more of a narrow timeline such as with GTA 5 was just the season that we got, spring of 2013. So I don't think we're going to be getting the exact release date, the date, the month, and of course, we obviously know the year, but we're not exactly going to be getting the date and the month. I would say that will most likely occur next year in 2025. Obviously, the official cover art as well, other details regarding GTA 6 and its open world, even pre-order bonuses like the special edition or the collector's edition, I don't think we'll be getting that this year. I would say that's a different topic for another video. Now, just summarizing the main points, obviously, I went over them in detail, but the main things we should be getting from Rockstar Games regarding GTA 6 news this year. And yes, this is my personal prediction and of course based off Rockstar Games historical patterns with GTA 5. So like I said, screenshots probably coming mostly throughout the year of 2024, perhaps maybe that middle part, a bit more of a narrow, narrow timeline of GTA 6, maybe the season that we're going to be seeing GTA 6 released in, perhaps pre-orders going live as well, a preview look at GTA 6 trailer number two and some additional screenshots to round up the year. But now I want to hear from you guys in that comment section below. Do you think that GTA 6 is going to follow the exact same or a similar pattern to GTA 5's launch timeline? Or do you think it's going to be completely different? Do you think we're going to be getting gameplay sometime this year? Obviously, I would love to see that, but I want to hear from you guys in that comment section below. Please do make sure to subscribe to Project Vice. Of course, like and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any upcoming GTA 6 content. By that, guys, stay safe. Have a great day, and I am out.